What's up, everybody? It is Mr. and Mrs. Bradley back with another video. What's up, everybody? So today's topic is another topic that is brought to us by you. We love these videos. We love talking about this stuff. We love answering and hearing from you guys. Absolutely. And if it's your first time checking in our channel and watching our channel, make sure you go ahead, click that subscribe button, smash that like button, and also make sure you're following us over on Instagram at Bradley Party of Six. And if you have any topics, any burning topics, any burning questions or anything like that, you can look down below in the description box, check out our email address, head over there and send us a question topic, anything you want us to talk about on this channel, in this series. And you can also DM us on Instagram. So today's topic is a good one. We got a young lady who sent us an email who's been in a relationship for 16 years and her significant other does not want to marry her. I'm paraphrasing here, but let me get the actual question going for you guys right now. She emailed us and she says, I have been with the same man since I was 16. I tried to date when we took a break about five years ago, but it just felt weird dating another guy. So we got back together within six months of breaking up. Reason we took a break, here it come, y'all. Is because I wanted to be married and he does not see the point since we have been together for this long. I am 32 years old and I want to be married. What can I do to make him understand that this is important to me? Woo. 16 years. I mean, they I mean they've been they've been together half oh, of her life at I'm this point. Over here. Half of her life. 16. Yeah. I have several questions, first of all. First of all, um I mean, we're coming up on half of your life. We've been together here soon. And we've been married for a lot of that. <laughs> I'm just first of all, I'm just like okay. Uh, let me calm down here. So sixteen years, one, I feel like if that was something that if marriage was something that you really wanted, this question or ultimatum should have probably come up way before this. well it sounded like it did it sounded like it probably came up like at the 10 year point because she said about five years ago they stopped they took a break and you know what at, i would expect you to date a lot longer since you met at 16 than someone who would have met at 26 so say you met at 16 you know i would have ex even if you would have been like we've been dating for eight years and now we're ready we're at that point where we're ready to get married i think that's reasonable for someone who started dating at 16 but y'all in y'all 30s I, I like what I, okay so my question would be when did you when did you start bringing up marriage and also when did you realize that he did not want to get married because if you knew that from the beginning then he, ain't no way he knew that from she knew that from the beginning. I'm I'm cold, I'm riding with well, my girl I'm just on this saying. one. Sixteen, he had, they ain't had that conversation. Well, not at the 16. beginning, but the maybe the beginning of adulthood. Maybe when they did start to, when she did start to get an itch at 22 or something, and she was like, "Hey, you know, how do you feel about being married?" And he's like, "I never want to be married, ma'am. You waited another ten years. I mean, trying to change at that it. point, they're six years in. At that point, That's okay. Long, but what I'm trying to give ultimatums now. All right, so I'll, I guess I'm team girl on this one. This is, I just. You can't try to get, you if you knew something, if you knew something that early on and you stuck around for another 10 years, you can't then be like, oh, well, I mean, you can always change your mind, obviously, and say, well, this is what I want and it's a non-negotiable. But at this point, it just don't make no sense. <sighs> I don't know if it don't make no sense. I kind of rocking with her on this sense. It's like, it sounds like. At least to me, five years ago, she laid it down. Like, this is what That's I want. That's not what she said. She just said we took a break. She, she didn't took say a, why. She said the reason being we took a break is because I wanted to be married. I didn't hear that. Yeah, let me read it again. I've been with the same man since I was 16. I tried to date when, I tried to take when we took a break about five years ago, but it just felt weird dating other guys. So we got back together within six months. Reason we took a break is because I wanted to be married. Oh, I didn't speak for you today. Yeah. Okay, well, they shouldn't have got back together. Well, 
I mean, that's the pro- like. Why you take a break if you were just gonna get back together and go through the same? She pattern? probably laid him down an ultimatum, and she that's probably she that's, probably, that's, that's when she lost it. That's probably where she lost it. When she came back, and the ultimatum wasn't that's was probably and it wasn't here to she lost at that point to an extent. I mean, baby girl, I love you, but you you probably you lost at that point. If you gonna lay down an ultimatum, you gotta be willing to walk away. Like yeah. honestly, you gotta be willing to to do that because if you lay down the ultimatum and then you come back and they still doing the same thing, no matter how many more ultimatums you lay down, they gonna think you ain't serious and you gonna continue to do and they gonna continue to do the same thing. So I think at this point, instead of like you need to make a decision for you and say, and that's something that you really, really, really want, and you're like, I'm I I'd rather be married than be with this person like if you if you feel like being married to someone is more important than being with this person someone if she want to be married to him it does but if he ain't gonna give you that what's more important you got to figure out what's more important to you he ain't gave it to you in 16 years why, why would he give it to you in the year 17 18 19 or 20 i actually kind of feel bad in a situation like this this is like she gave up her teens because I'm pretty sure she said they got together when they were 16. So yeah. they probably was dating. They might have been even like casually boyfriend girlfriend and they in high school. Like so she gave up her teens, she gave up her 20s, and now she in her early 30s. And she's in a relationship that it sounds like she doesn't really have a lot of control over in a sense of what she wants out of it. I feel like if you. I, I would like to know the reason why he doesn't want to get married. It's really hard for me to say. Like she I would said, because like, he's been they've been together for this long without it. Right, but my point, if that's the your only reason, it's like, well, why we need to get married? We've been together for so long, and so if you plan on continuing to be with me for another sixteen years, and it's something that I really, really want. Like my philosophy has already always been, if you really, really want it, and I'm just like indifferent about it and don't care, then let's do it. Let's do it. Like I, why would why would we not? I I don't. I don't I don't love it but I, like I could do without it but if, if you're saying that this is something that you really want to do why would I not do it that doesn't make any sense I feel like that's the Bradley mantra for most of our, our our life like if she really really wanted to do something and I don't care I'm like okay let's do it same vice versa <laughs> it don't make no sense not to do it if something is gonna make your partner really happy and you like I could do without it but at the same time I don't care if we do it like why would we not do it? That don't make it just don't I mean, that's make a sense big deal to though. Marriage is not just like what's like, the, what's so big deal about it if you already plan on being with me? I get that, but that's like that ain't like us going to Mexico and be like, I really want to go on an excursion it's today, not, and I'm like, not, I don't know if I really want to go on an excursion. But if you want to do that, let's do it. I feel like if we have already <laughs> been together, it's not like we've been together for three years or two years, and yeah, I'm like, true. let's get married, and you like, well, I just don't see it. Like we've been together for 16 years, so unless you're planning an exit and thinking you gonna leave, like. If you plan on continuing to be with me, if they've been together since 16, I'm quite sure their finances are combined. Everything is combined if they've been together since they were 16. Well, we don't know that, but yeah, I, I would we assume. We don't, that. but I can assume, I can, I feel like I can reasonably assume that everything is, is combined if they've been together since they were I mean, that I don't know young. if they got kids or she didn't mention it. Yeah, I don't know if they have children or anything, or anything, but I would just assume that their lives are pretty tightly entwined with someone that you've been with for close to 20 years. And I don't care how young you started. So if that's the case and you plan on being with me for another 20 years, why would we not get married? Is he saying he just doesn't want like, I don't know, the, for government tax purposes? Like why, what is the reason that you don't want to get married if you plan to continue to be with me because anything that you got unless you were like a child star and you had money before you ain't got no money at 16 so anything <laughs> that you got now in your 30s we did that we that. did that together we did that together okay so like it's like i, I don't understand why it doesn't make sense and if if and then that's, this is where I also get conflicted because it's like, well, do you leave the person that you really love because they won't marry you? Right. But then you have to flip it and say, would this person let me leave? Because they, I won't marry you. Yeah, because I want to get married. Would this person really walk away from me or let me walk away from them? For, like just because they don't want to get married. That's the, that's, 
let's talk about that and then we'll get into the actual question. So like, that's the thing, like she obviously wants to be married to him. I don't think it's like, oh, I just want to be married. Like the whole, like, right. oh, I just want to be right. married for the sake of being married. Right. I want to be married to you. Right. And you, and it sounded like she left him because he didn't get it. That this is what she wants. Well, but she still came, ain't got it. Right. So that wasn't a factor. <sighs> so it's like. And huh. it was apart for six months. And well, how? What? When she say that, I would love to know, like some, some, because it's just like we was like, I left, and it's kind of like oh, I was doing this. They probably was still doubling back. Like she, I said, she they probably, was, if, they was if she said six months, he wasn't even that worried that you was gonna completely leave him. Because they probably was still doing it. Because if she said she felt weird dating other guys and it felt weird, I'm pretty sure she probably wasn't having sex with those guys or nothing like that. So he was still the only person getting access to her like that so she never even though she, i don't know and i'm this is just me just speculating she never cut off access to her well the, one of the things that made me you really reach though, because we don't know nothing about you're right you're right break you're right well i mean that's one of the things if we use in our our relationship one of the things that made me like want to get my shit together is when you kind of like cut off to an extent you ain't do it all the way but cut off access to me like didn't allow me to like we were seeing each other like every day like she would i wasn't able to see her every day i wasn't able to she wouldn't answer my calls you might text me back but she was like limited my access to her and that kind of made me like oh, i need to get my shit together so i i am reaching so let's deep dive into her actual question what does she have to do to make him understand that this is important to her? If it's been 16 years and he don't understand it by now and you didn't left him already and came back, I don't know that there's much more you can do um, short of being serious and leaving. If that's something that you that you really, it's, it's like I said, it's a double-edged sword because it's like, do I leave this person who I think is my person that I should be with. Do I leave this person because they won't give me this thing? But again, then you look at it, you turn it around and say, well, would they, they would leave me just to not give me this thing? Like, I, that don't make sense either. On right, I side. think we need his his angle because maybe not being married, maybe it's an important level to him to not be married. Maybe we don't know what the reason behind why he doesn't want to be married because... And again, I need to know when he told her this as well. Because if they broke up over it five years ago, maybe he told her this eight years ago. Why are you still sitting there? Like, why are you still sitting there? I mean, what you want is what you want. But I, I get it, but you but you reaching out to me eight years later. I made that number up, but you're reaching out <laughs> to me eight years later because you're unhappy about it. Like, don't sit there and waste your time with somebody who's not going to give you what you want. Yeah, that's a, that's a square, that square peg syndrome is like, we as people are scared to like move on because we we fear the unknown so she knows this guy she loves this guy she knows what she wants from this guy but he ain't giving it to her Man. so her fear of getting it that thing from somebody else is I, I think that's what drives her fear. One thing about time is time gonna pass regardless. Yeah. And when it passes, you can either be happy or you can be going through the motions and doing the same thing and on that hamster wheel playing repeat next year. So like next year gonna come when next year comes. It's gonna be here in a year. So you could be doing the three, same thing. 365 or 366. Yeah, you, could, <laughs> you could be doing the same thing you doing now. Still question if you should be there or not. Or saying that you're unhappy because you're not getting what you want. Or you can get up and do something about it today. I feel like love is such a hard thing. Love and jobs to an extent too. Like jobs because you got that's your money maker. I let that shit go. I know you do. I, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying though, most people like you got a job, you need the money. You already know like my boss might piss me off, but I know all right, it's Thursday. He coming in with an attitude today because he got into a little wife. Blah 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 blah. This I, you know your you know what you know. So it's like to leave that is the same thing with love. It's like all right, I may 
I mean, he may not marry me, but he he's good to me. He he helps me with this. He does this. He does these things. I don't know what I'm gonna get if I leave this person. That's cool to say, and it's like, but that's when you have to be secure in your decision with yourself. Yeah. Do you want him or do you want marriage? Uh, and that's which one and which one do you want more? Which one are you willing to lose? Yeah. Over? Which one are you are you willing to lose? Die on that sword. <sighs> But then also, again, just make sure you're make sure you're looking like uh, look at his reasons and, and, and determine how important his reasons are and how how not crazy, but how um, logical his reasons are and how important they are to him and and go from there. Because, again, if it's just well, what we, what's the point? what's the point and that's all he keeps saying is what's the point and not giving you a valid reason i don't feel like that somebody like that is validating your feelings and and really being open to to doing what makes you happy so you feel like so you feel like if that's let's let's go with your you're saying real quick for this his whole thing is just i don't see a point in being married do you but that's his point but i'm doing everything i'm supposed to be doing for you i'm here for you mentally spiritually physically i just don't want to be married you gotta give me something other than I'm not your child. It ain't just it ain't just what your parents always say just because or because I said so. That's not how that's not how this works. You have to give me something behind. I just don't want to. You you gotta it, there has to be a reason. You Maybe. gotta dig deep and find it. You gotta give me something other than I just don't want to. If it's something that means that that was so important to me that you know I love you and I was willing to leave you over it, and all you got to say is I just don't want to. Well, what if I come to you and I'm like, fine, Gina, we can get married, and I say it like that. If you don't want to marry me, just no. <laughs> no, I'm, but I, I've already no. told I've already told you that no, I don't want no. to do it. And you, you keep to, you pressing. Need to give me Wait, everything. okay, I'm giving you. Now I'm saying fine. Fine. You want to be married? Fine. Let's do it. Well, now I need to determine if, <laughs> if I want to be with your brand of alcohol. Oh, so now, so now it's a problem. I'm giving you what you want. Again, just not the way you want me to give you what you want. I now need it's to a problem. If I want to be with your brand of asshole. So that's what I'm saying. So it's, it's, it's magnitude to it. So like, I'm giving you what you want, and that's still not enough, is what yeah. you're saying. Well. That's what you're saying. Well. I think that's a great topic. No, and I, <laughs> I'm sorry to leave you all on the clip. I, just, I do. I think that that's how, like, life is to, to an extent, too. It's like, all right, because he can. He could, if he give it to you like you like that, are you willing to take that? Are you willing to live with that and be like, okay, he really doesn't want this. And you know, because he's already told you he don't want this, he's, but he's giving it to you. Can you live with that? I feel like, and this may be harsh, but I just feel like somebody who's willing to let you go. And again, I don't know his reasoning, so maybe there's a different reason. But I feel like somebody who's willing to let you go over a, I just don't want to. Okay, no, don't really want you. But like I said, I just told you he giving it to you in a different don't way. Really want he you. just giving it to well, you in a different way. He ain't did that. You said that. So I, again, I'm saying if he gave it to you that way, I feel like somebody who's willing to let you go over. I just don't want to. Like is they don't they don't really want you to begin with. Not okay. to begin with, but they can. They, they can live I mean, without you. Yeah, they can live without you. They so, become what they will. I, could, I would, that I will call. And that ain't what you. Brother. And that's not what you want. That's not what you deserve. Because that's what marriage. Truthfully, that's what marriage is about. We can bring the full circle with this and wrap it. That's what marriage is about. Compromising. Is it like I don't per se want to do this, or I may not. I may not want to do this, but I don't really have a reason to be high. Why don't not reason, but it's a compromise. Like you want this, and this is important to you, and I see that this is important to you. So I want to do this for you. No decision that I make it is is more important than my marriage. I feel like I don't. I, I don't know that I have many things outside of something super extreme i don't know that i have many things that are that i'm like i'm willing to leave you if you don't do this or i'm willing to leave or i'm i strongly don't want to do this and i'm willing to leave you if you're gonna do it like i, I there's not much that i can think of that's worth my marriage 
and it ha would have to be something so extreme, like that's gonna hurt my kids or or hurt me. You know, it would have to be something like that. And uh, from my experience, marriage doesn't do that. So I, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I, I just, I don't have an answer for this one. I said what I said, but I don't have an answer. Yeah, I mean, to to wrap it, what I would say to him to make it as important is all you can say it is to make him understand how it's important to you is to just express your feelings. And if he don't get that, like she said earlier, you got to be willing to either stay because you love him or leave because this is what you want. And maybe that's, if you can't get on the same page about that, maybe that's not your person. I feel like sometimes we, we stay with people for too long and I'm not encouraging you to leave, but I'm just saying sometimes I feel like we stay with people for too long just out of sheer comfort comfort it's, like he said it's comfortable we don't know what else is out there so we stay with people who who we know in the back of our minds May they not. really aren't for us you don't know that this is not your person but in the back of your mind you just know that this person does what i need right now i feel like if we dig deep enough we know I feel like if we dig deep enough, we know, and we're just unwilling to admit it or unwilling to to dig that far that to make sure. I I, I feel like I, I really do. I feel like we know, but it's like, oh, this is comfortable. Like something's been gnawing at me. Something's been nagging me, but I'm not going to pursue whatever it is because I'm comfortable and I'm scared to know the outcome. I know. The fear of the unknown is real. So... I hope, I know that was kind of like a roundabout um, answer to an extent and just telling you to express your feelings may not be what you wanted to hear, but I think that's um, the truth. So that's going to do it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Again, keep those topics coming. We love addressing this stuff. This has actually been pretty dope. Just as like, this is kind of yeah. what we what we envisioned when we came up with Dear Mr. and Mrs. Bradley, not just talking about topics actually answering some of the questions that you guys got out there all right and to the next video though it is mr and mrs bradley checking out peace